morning guys. Today we are at Santosha and Long Bay Villas and we're here to talk to Amelia Vanderpool Kubish of Blue Sea Anguilla and Patricia Bygrave who is the villa manager at these two properties. Today we are talking about Anguilla weddings. We're going to talk to Amelia to find out all the ins and outs of weddings. She's the wedding expert in Anguilla and we're going to talk to Patricia about the different things that make Long Bay Villas and Santosha a beautiful destination for a destination wedding. So let's find out all about Anguilla weddings. This is Amelia. Hi, Nori. Hello, Patricia. Good to Hi, see Nori. you. Hi, Nori. How's Welcome. everything going? Great. It's beautiful. The beach is gorgeous down there. Amelia, my question is, what are the steps to doing a wedding in Anguilla, to getting married in Anguilla? Let me just start by saying I love weddings. I love the drama. <laughs> <laughs> I love the, the details, the vows, the promises, you know, bringing family and friends together. The couple, they have to be present to have their marriage license processed at the ju judicial department. Their valid passports, there is the fee for the stamps and the marriage license. If either one has been married before, they would of course need to provide original okay. divorce documents. Okay, so that, mm -hmm. that, that sounds, I mean, pretty straightforward then. Mm -hmm. As I'm talking about it, I'm remembering one couple. The wife needed to have a visa, for example. That required having to go to the immigration department. The passport had to be left at the immigration department for it to be stamped. And I ended up having to call the chief immigration officer for her assistance, and she was very cooperative. After our signature, yeah. you know, to enable them to process the, the, the rest of their paperwork for the marriage license. So you know, those contacts, the relationships yeah. that you know, we've established over the years, really go a long way towards helping us to make things as um, stress-free as possible. Let's take a look around the property. Anguilla has become like a destination for weddings. Santosha and Long Bay Villas is a great example. Two properties combined, Santosha here and Long Bay Villas next door, combined they sleep total of 55 persons. 55 people. The ultimate, I guess, in like privacy and exclusivity. Oh yes, you know. Fusion, yeah. you name it. It offers so many different options. I mean, you can have your wedding on the beach or off the beach if you, yeah. if you wish. And the architecture, you know, I love the um, sort of manor, traditional style. The stonework. Yes. There's so many opportunities for great pictures. At well, and, there, and there's so many different spaces, right? I mean... Oh yes, we can do functions, weddings, um, catering to up to between 100 to 130 persons comfortably. 130 people? Oh, oh my off gosh. The beach. <laughs> but just looking at how the property, I mean, because it really sprawls out here. It's like you have the main house here and then you have like four, three pavilions there. As you can see, the entire deck, we normally have this staged for mm -hmm. events. Mm -hmm. We have tents and you can imagine by night, right. the lighting. Um, this would be like one space that could be used for like for the like for ceremony yeah. reception dancing and even the patio decks you know we open up and the so gorgeous very scenic. Yeah. can we go down to the beach oh so yes. yeah I imagine her walking down here oh right. yeah <laughs> love like the stonework on a beach. Oh, cool. it kind of feels a little James Bondy to me. <laughs> like a secret door. So you would set all this up? Yeah, this is all set up. Yeah. So we have a team of professionals. Okay. And of course, with your product, you definitely need to have yeah. a I mean, team 130, that's yeah. Yeah. Yes. As we were talking about what um, is required in terms of getting married. Uh -huh. um, some couples, of course, choose to do their legal um, ceremony at home. Therefore, when they're here, they do not have to go through the processing of a marriage license. They just do everything on the beach, in the garden. They have the ceremony um, here. Right, okay. yeah. Okay. Amelia, what are some of the, the craziest the craziest <laughs> ceremony, like stuff that's happened in a ceremony, like requests or? Ooh, craziest. Fireworks have become a thing for many couples. Fire pits even in the yeah. sand. Chinese lanterns. Amelia is being kind of modest here. The story that you told me, you, you assume responsibility for a, a wedding five-figure <laughs> wedding dress. That was incredible. Um, this uh, was a large um, wedding. The guests were from around the world and uh -huh. the bride's dress was, she had it um, 
FedEx to Anguilla. We had to take responsibility for clearing it from customs. And of course, the hotel did not want to take the responsibility of even yeah. keeping it until she arrived. So we had to do that. I recall having, um, ha hanging it in our office, taking a picture of it just to let her know the dress is here, it's Got safe it's and so <laughs> So that was a you did fun. What, you did what nobody else was willing to no, do. because that was quite a, an awesome responsibility. Yeah. To, yes, I mean, those are the things that, the details and the drama, yeah. you know, that is what I would. This is what you thrive yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. You really see the bride just for a romantic season. Mm -hmm. you have all the different bedrooms, you know, so it lays out well for mm -hmm. our group. All the bedrooms, they are equally spaced and furnished. They all have yeah. their outdoor showers. Everyone has their own equal space right. and privacy at the same right. time. Look at the beach from here. Wow. So now we're going to head up to the sister property, Long Bay Villas, just next door to Santosha. We're here at Long Bay Villas. Long Bay Villas is made up of three villas, sky, sea, and sand. You can watch your video right here. Yeah, we're going to post the video link just up here. Patricia's telling us about wedding that's coming up in 2020. And it's just interesting to me how the different spaces can be used, right? Because this is like, looks sort of like, like a parking area. Yes, right? it does at yeah. the moment, but all our spaces can be converted. She wants to make a grand entrance. Yeah. So the family came and this is what we decided to do. We're going to have chairs, rows of chairs on either side. We're going to have the red carpet that is going to come all the way here and extend at the top here where you're going to have the bridal arch. After they exchange their vows, the guests are going to transition into the village. Let's transition in there. Let's I want to show you. Yeah, let's yeah. transition. <laughs> Believe it or not, we're going to transform the space to cater to 130 persons for cocktails. Between the inside and the outdoor area, if you look at this view, it's very romantic. You have a seating area here. It's another perfect spot. After, the, after this ceremony in that area and they come here for the uh, cocktails, they're going to transition to Sentosha. For dinner? For dinner, okay. for the dinner reception. If pre-wedding uh, events, for example, there could be a rehearsal dinner, there could be a brunch after the, the wedding. Some couples have a week of events or a yeah. couple of days of events. So yeah. there's a lot of um, moving parts and a lot of vendors to, to deal with. Vendors really come into play, like relationships with vendors, which you both have. And like organizing, I guess, like boat excursions, going to Sandy Island. Yeah, some couples, you know, they want to have a catamaran excursion, you know, take their guests on a different mm -hmm. sort of outing, you know, water sport activities. Of course, we have golf, yes. um, you know, spa treatments, especially mm -hmm. for the ladies, yeah. you know, yeah. so there are um, a lot, lots to do. Yeah. All right, so speaking about vendors, one of the vendors that Lucy always works with mm -hmm. and the people to call for everything decor and design in Anguilla mm -hmm. is Black Orchid. Hi everyone. This is Hi. Lauren from Black Orchid. For us, events are life yeah. and we thrive on exotic. The more exotic, the more exuberant, mm -hmm. the more beautiful. We love it. You guys have done some crazy stuff. I mean like... Off the wall stuff. Yeah. Oh boy, that was one at Capchaluca a few years ago. Yeah. What, was, what made it so special? It was for Arabian princess. An Arabian princess? Yes. Wow. It was at night, so there were tall columns like 15 feet with the moving heads. So you guys put these on the beach? All the stuff, yeah, build the structure. Columns and everything on the beach. was, yeah, everything was all white. So as the bride walked down, the moving heads were on her changing the different colors and stuff, patterns. Wow, so, so you had to synchronize was, that. Yeah, it was really heavy. So yeah. having the heads turn as she's moving, yeah. Yeah. So how did you do that? Like, I mean, did you just like rig it or like? It was all rigged electronically, so we, you know, all the wires have to 
right. buried under the sand so it looks seamless, it looks clean. Wow. It was, it was literally two years of time. That's incredible. Yes, so you guys have like a, got like a construction guy in your team who's building all this stuff. Oh, we have carpenters yeah. and welders and you this name is, it, it's there. This sounds like Cirque du Soleil. Yes, it yeah. is. Floating stuff in the pool, like candles. Oh, pretty. Pretty trees and yeah. stuff, clear yeah. trees. Mm -hmm. And the receptions most likely are held on the beach. Okay. We did bistro lighting with Chinese lanterns and the oh, tables so and the pretty. chairs. Clean, yeah. simple and elegant. Yeah, elegant, mm -hmm. yeah. Complete seclusion. Just so private. People could have I me mean, obviously for just spending the day yes. down here. Yes, we and do. also organizing dinners. Whatever um, the event is, we have our beach attendants who so yeah. we service drinks or food, yeah. a barbecue grill. House upstairs ID for dining as well. So okay. sometimes if it's like moonlight is beautiful hair. Yeah. So guests would want to have a very romantic setting. Yeah. in the beach clubhouse we can arrange it as well yeah. with staffing. This is such a special part of Anguilla, this beach here in Long Bay. It's completely undisturbed. All right, well that's it. Thank you so much, Amelia and Patricia, for your insights on weddings in Anguilla. Hopefully you'll help me plan my wedding one day soon. I look forward. <laughs> Thank you so much for having everyone over here at Long Bay Villas in Sentosha. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.